hello friends uh, welcome back in this class uh, we are going to discuss about jquery selector so in our last classes uh, we have just discussed about jquery events uh, jquery effect in this class the topic is jquery selector and uh, this notepad plus uh, plus you can change the title from here jquery selector jquery selector so you can just uh, remove all this from here script tag from style tag also and body tag so at the first word selector selector is called uh, the way of selecting an element uh, it can be html element or any other element uh, which you are creating inside uh, your script tag for example if you are just going to create a div here inside the body we start and div close so you can just give a class or id for this uh, space id or class call sign you are just going to give a name for your class for example di double v di double v1 so this is the name and we have created a class inside this div so you can just give a text here for example uh, selector test selector test just this much you can save this just go to run menu and launch in chrome to see the result so you can see here is written selector test now we are going to use some css here for selecting the class we have dot and uh, after that you must give the name and uh, di double v1 and this name is optional you can just uh, choose any name uh, i have chosen here d1 you can choose any other name which you want and after that uh, you can open the curly braces uh, the width of this should be something like 200 pixel the height 200 pixel and the background color uh, background color should be black color text color white and uh, font size font size 18 pixel save this and uh, go to your browser and refresh so we have a box here you can see and zoom out now simply you can copy this div or duplicate by pressing ctrl plus d from your keyboard two more time and you can just change the name uh, div 2 and this one should be div 3 ctrl s and just come here and refresh so we have two more div here the same you can just duplicate this also two more time this can be div 2 and this div number 3 you can change the background color for example this should be a red color the text color should be yellow and this one should be just you can say blue and again the text color should be something like uh, yellow save this come here and refresh so we have three div here you can see three different div so if we do not create class or id inside this you can say once i'm just going to remove this or you can just select uh, instead of this div one uh, you can just select this div only div because we have div here Control s to save now just come back here and refresh and i'm just going to remove these two for right now or just making comments uh, not you cannot make comments here you can just remove this and control s to save just come back and refresh so it's not working you can see we can just remove this two line by pressing control x uh, for right now we have just selected only div you can see div is a default selector so we have selected the div and save this come here and refresh so you can see we have uh, three different uh, we have three div with the same format with the uh, black background color and white text color 
so as we given here background black uh, text color white font size 18 pixel so you can change from here so this is the beauty of uh, selector that uh, inside the uh, element inside the same element you can create a selector like class like id and then you can just uh, give uh, different formatting for your elements for example you have uh, three diff here inside the body three diff if we if we not use if we uh, not use uh, inside this uh, selector a class or id so we cannot give a uh, different format uh, different style for the elements so this the usage of uh, selector selector is called uh, the way of uh, just uh, using element or the way of selecting element and giving different uh, formatting for that element so i'm just going to paste uh, those uh, divs here back dot div2 and here dot div3 and here div1 with the dot sign so when we are just creating class uh, for classes we are using dot sign you can see and after that uh, whenever you are just selecting a name it can be anything like div1 it can be any word you are selecting so you are just after the dot sign you are giving the name and the uh, properties which you want to use for your elements control s to save and refresh so you can see now we have uh, two different selector so for div 3 div 2 div 3 dot div 1 double v control s and refresh so now we are just uh, going to create a button here by pressing on that button you can change uh, the background of these uh, three elements so just for creating button come inside your html file or body tech uh, just use button button start and button close and you can just create a class or id here i am creating id and pu double t is the name so just come inside your uh, script tag or jQuery file here insert a dollar sign and a round bracket full stop and a round bracket and semicolon so here uh, inside the single quotation you can select uh, this button at, at first so we have used here ID for ID we have hash sign press shift uh, shift and uh, 3 from your keyboard uh, for inserting hash sign and the name of your button is B U W T. you have selected the button and now you need to just give event for this button for example when someone click on this button after clicking on this button you need to run the function and open round bracket and curly braces this is the rule for using function and after that we are going to select this diff so as the topic selector so at first we have selected the button here and now we are just going to select the diff here so again dollar sign round bracket dot uh, again round bracket and uh, semicolon inside the single quotation uh, you can use here uh, for class you are using dot and the name is div1 div1 and you are just using here css as we discussed in our last class and here a curly braces so just a single quotation colon again single quotation and for separating we are using co uh, comma i think you are remember uh, and here you are just saying uh, the background color should be something like uh, green color and the text color uh, text color should be something like orange you can save this just come here and refresh so you must write something on the button here for example click to change click to change the color 
control s now come back and again you need to refresh change on this you can see the first one at first the background color is black with the white text color after clicking on this button you can see the first element is just going to change you can use a br here just for making some space br and br control s and refresh just click on this you can see the first element so <coughs> sorry for this here inside uh, your jquery file i have just selected div number one only this one so you can put a comma here and uh, with a dot you can select div2 also div2 and again a comma again dot sign you can select div3 and control s to save now come back here and refresh click on this button so you can see it's working just by clicking a single a single click by doing a single click you can just change these three elements uh, you can bring in the same format you can see you can change the style and you can give a same format for all of this so just uh, because you have used selector here we have just selected uh, div1, div2 and div3 just by doing one click on the button on this button so you can just change the color you can see so I hope uh, that uh, word selector is clear for you and uh, you can just select uh, you can create selector anywhere inside uh, any element for example we have a p tag here p star and p close so this can be any tag like heading tag p tag or you can just uh, write something here inside this p tag hello friends hello friends and welcome to the complete course of jqd you can save this just come here and refresh so you can see we have a p tag here so you can give the same format for p also just uh, after this uh, div you need to just uh, put a comma here and select p control s now just come back here and refresh so you can see the same format we have just given for the p also so this is the beauty of selector uh, you can use selector in different place in different element and for different purpose so just watch the video and do practice have a nice time and see you